It's a tense time for soldiers as they approach this makeshift Iraqi village in the California desert for the first time. Some of the units remain outside the town for security measures, while another conducts a roadblock. Company Commander William Clark leads the rest into the town to greet the police chief and sit down with the mayor. The mayor asked for more weapons to help police. Handguns or AK-47 rifles. Clark has to be careful here in order to keep the local law enforcement's trust. Outside, civilians play soccer. Soldiers try to make friends. These are Iraqi Americans brought in to test soldiers' interaction with civilians during this high-stress mission. More than 250 are used at the National Training Center. They play their part well. And the Iraqi people are good people. Uh, they're just plagued by insurgents in their country. So you got to try to work uh, as closely as you can with the Iraqi police and the Iraqi army. Clark then receives a brief tour of the town, a chance for a quick look around for the platoon escorting him. Just to try and get a feel for the place, for the town, where, to, where vehicles are generally parked, what people's day-to-day -day activities are. As time progresses, it's easier to tell when something doesn't look right. One of the situations U.S. soldiers run into while in an urban setting is the trust factor. How can you trust the Iraqi civilians when any one of them could have a bomb strapped to their body? It's a bond not built overnight, but one false move and it could be broken just like that. Clark and his soldiers must tread lightly. Uh, we don't want to show any hostile intent. Uh, we want to be friendly as possible because first impressions last. So by making Iraqi civilians feel safer, the soldiers will make the area safer for themselves as well. Providing a safe haven for them so they can go about their daily lives and not worry about getting blown up. If somebody's plotting on them, then they can, they're plotting against us, and they can, you know, they might pull us aside and say, hey, you know, watch that guy over there. He was, you know, he's been talking about doing some bad stuff to you, you know, and then we we'll take the guy in and question him. He's like, yeah, you know, I wanted to blow myself up. And we're like, wow. Because the more the Iraqi civilians do step up, the more soldiers can step aside. At the National Training Center, Fort Irwin, California, John Callahard, WTVM News, Leader 9.